let us take the second question here I am marking this question let's read what is given here a simply supported beam of span 6 meter carries a UDL of 1.5 kN per meter over entire span and a point load of 2 kN at 2 meter from right support full stop draw SF and BM diagrams so here instead of giving the diagram in this question they are giving us some conditions and with the help of that we will draw the diagram so now let us start this question number two by writing the data whatever is given here I would draw that in the form of a beam here it is mentioned a simply supported beam of span 6 meter length of the beam is 6 meter next it carries a uniformly distributed load of 1.5 kN per meter over entire span then and a point load of 2 kN at 2 meter from right support so there is a point load of 2 kN at 2 meter from right support I will call this as point C now this is the question which we have in front of us they are telling us to get the value that is to draw SF and BM diagrams SFD and BMD these are the questions now we will start this question by finding the support reactions first so I'll say that in the solution my step number one is calculation of support reactions so for that I have to consider the beam in equilibrium and for that the first condition is summation of Fy is equal to 0 where upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative here I have reaction at A as RA reaction at B as RB both are upward so I have RA plus RB minus 2 because it is downward 1.5 into 6 that will give me 9 so minus 9 is equal to 0 hence RA plus RB will be equal to this is minus 11 if I send it onto the other side it becomes plus 11 I'll keep this as my equation number one next I will be calculating summation of moments of all forces about point A is equal to zero here clockwise moments are positive and anti-clockwise moments are negative so therefore because of RB there is an anti-clockwise moment so it is minus RB into 6 next 2 kN load is at a distance of 4 meter from point A so it is plus 2 into 4 this UDL whose value if I convert that would be 1.5 into 6 9 kilo Newton acting at 3 meters that is exactly at the center so it is 3 meters from A so 1.5 into 6 that is 9 kilo Newton 9 into 3 is equal to 0 therefore if I send 6 into RB onto the other sides that is 6 RB will be equal to this is 6 plus 27 which gives me that is 8 plus 
27 that gives me 35 so from this i will be getting rb value as which i have already calculated it is 5.83 kilonewton <coughs> now after this i will say that put rb is equal to 5.83 kilonewton in equation 1 so therefore I have RA is equal to 11 minus 5.83 and RA value comes out to be 5.17 kilonewton so here I have calculated the support reactions after this the second step is calculation of shear force so step number two it's SF calculations the first part is SF at point A RA value that I have calculated it is 5.17 kilonewton RB value is 5.83 kilonewton now I want to calculate shear force at point A for that my assumption is the section is just ahead of A so here is my section and when I am considering this section to the left of this RA is upward so the convention is upward force to the left downward force to the right positive downward force to the left upward force to the right negative so here as I see in this problem RA which is to the left of the section it is upward so positive so it will be plus 5.17 kilonewton next SF at point C here I would be having two values first shear force to the left of C other to the right of C so I'll write down SF at point C that will be equal to in the first case I am taking the section to the left of C so here if I take the section and if I look onto the left side RA is upward so positive 1.5 into 4 this value will be negative so 1.5 into 4 that will be 6 and this value would be negative so here I have 5.17 minus 6 that comes out to be 0 0.5 83 it is minus 0.83 kilonewton then again I will be calculating SF at point C that's equal to first I had taken the section to the left now I will take the section just to the right of C and here the value will be RA which is upward next 1.5 into 4 that is 6 so RA minus 6 minus 2 that is minus 2.283 kilonewton next for SF at point B I would first be taking the section it would be to the left of B if I take the section the value would be it is 5 minus 5.83 kilonewton because if I am taking section just to the left of B to the right I have one single force which is RB and it is upward so 
upward force to the right of the section is negative so it is minus 5.83 kilonewton and here i have the values of all forces now i would be drawing the shear force diagram now i would be drawing sfd that is shear force diagram for that i have to draw the given beam again now after drawing this beam just below this beam we have to draw the shear force diagram for the shear force diagram as we know the length of the shear force diagram would be equal to the length of the beam at a i am getting the value as 5.17 at point c the value is minus 0.83 then at c again i am getting the value as 2.83 at b the value is 5.83 which is negative now at a the shear force is positive so it is above the line at c i have two values of shear force so as we can see between a to c here we have udl so shear force should be an inclined line SF is an inclined line. Next, it goes on increasing from 0.83 to 2.83. Again, we have UDL between C to B, so there is an inclined line between C to B. So this is the shear force diagram which I am getting. After this I will draw the bending moment diagram So my step number 3 is BM calculations that is bending moment calculations I can say that moment at A is equal to moment at B that is 0 since they are simply supported next i want to calculate bending moment at point c so moment at c it will be equal to first draw the convention to the left of section we have clockwise moment and if to the right we have anti clockwise moment they are taken positive anti clockwise moment to the left and clockwise moment to the right they are taken negative so if i want to calculate moment at c i can either take the left section or right section if i am taking at the right section here i have rb value it is if i take the moment at point c it comes into anti clockwise direction so to the right of c it is anti clockwise so it has to be taken positive so i'll write down plus 5.83 into 2 then you we even have udl over this entire span So for this two meter length also the UDL is one point five kilonewton per meter intensity. So it is one point five into two. It will be negative minus one point five into two. The distance of this point load that is three kilonewton would be one meter from point C. So into one. So if I calculate this, I will be getting the moment at C as. 
8.68 kilo newton meter so now for drawing the bending moment diagram i will plot the length as equal to shear force diagram at point a at point b bending moment is zero at point c the value is 8.68 kilo newton meter since we have udl throughout shear force diagram was inclined line bending moment should be parabola i'll write down it is parabola throughout positive since all values are above this is point c so here is the bending moment diagram and as they have told us in the question we have drawn the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram with this the problem is completed